So, guys, uh, fifth round selection. Uh, we're currently waiting for Indy uh, to make their next pick, but they traded back. But instead, Indianapolis goes ahead and double dips at the corner position, taking Darius Rush, cornerback out of South Carolina, at that moment in time was one of the top two uh, best available players remaining at mm-hmm. that spot. Yeah. Cody, you're getting another big body cornerback who is also 6'2", 200 pounds, about the same size as Julius Brents, and really just is the exact kind of mold here that you're looking for. Yes, exactly. I mean, you've talked about it. Six foot two, 200 pounds, ran a four three six in the combine. I mean, he's got that raw athletic traits that you're looking for, right? You talked about it over, what was it, a nine point, whatever it was. I mean, huge athletic score. So uh, you talk about the combination of size and speed here for a guy like Darius Rush. I mean, these are traits. Like you talk about the different traits, right, that you're looking for in corners, especially players at this point in the draft. I mean, this is a very uh, good pick here for Indy. I'm honestly shocked that he shocked. was there um, at that point. And so the fact that the Colts get him here and he falls to them essentially because people were saying third, fourth round corner, Colts get him in the fifth round. So I really do think this was a great pick for Indy overall. Um, I do think it's a good value pick here for what they're looking to do. They get another big outside corner. They already have, you know, Isaiah Rogers, smaller corner, Kenny Moore, smaller corner. They get another big guy that can play the boundary. I think this guy has a lot of upside. I think this, could, this guy could really compete for some playing time because I think he's a really good value here where the Colts did pick. And so, I mean, what's not to like about this Colts selection right now? I mean, they got everything that they're looking for at this point in the draft. And you knew when you saw that RAS score over nine and a half, you're like, this has got to be a Ballard guy. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Long, big, fast, uh, athletic at a corner, at a position that you need. Yep. This was exactly, and you called it right before it happened, and we're like, it's exactly what Ballard is looking for. And that's exactly right. And again, everyone, I am shocked that he was there because everyone said, Darius Rush, this guy is a guy that has a third round grade on him. Yeah. Like for the majority of people, I mean, they said that uh, even ESPN has him ranked as the 13th ranked corner amongst yeah. everyone. But I mean, even then, they still had him as a projected, uh, you know, early fourth round pick. So you're getting him so late and Indy is, Indy is killing this because they're not trading up and getting these guys that they, that they want. They even just traded back because they know there's still guys there on their board that they want. So they're saying, let me trade back 15 spots. That's how comfortable we feel with what we're going right now. And Darius rush again, like you said, Indy, uh, double dips at corner, two big body corners that are going to compete in the off season for you know that number two corner spot. And I mean, no doubt that both of these guys are going to get uh, playing time next year. But you know, it's that's great competition. You Absolutely, know, Julius Brents and Darius Rush, two guys who were neck and neck with each other on who was the better corner in this draft process, and that kind of competition. That's great. It's great competition. You just keep adding it, keep adding more. Do you add in free agency as well? It's a possibility. I mean, the corner depth from where it was a couple of days ago to now, I mean, it's great. Uh, you're, you're getting better. I still think you could add another, you know, free agent outside guy. And, you know, now you've you've lost two guys, you know, in free agency or via trade, and you added two guys here, two young guys, a lot of upside, really excited for that. Um, and overall, I think Julius – we don't want to talk about him real fast. Um, I do think this guy, Darius Rush – um, he has a lot of natural ball skills. He was a former wide receiver, so he he does have those natural ball skills that I think you like to see. He's got the size, got the athleticism, and we'll see. He can develop into a really nice steal here for Indianapolis. We already know what they've done at corner in the fifth round before, with Isaiah, a guy like Isaiah Rodgers in these later picks. So yeah. So and I could see it being a being a situation like that. I mean, a really high upside guy here. It really is. And and that's the thing, it's the upside because you know, Darius Rush, I think what hindered him is you know, some people were saying about the experience, right? The guy was originally a receiver. So at corner, he's kind of still getting used to the position. Yeah. But we know Indy. Indy a lot of times will take uh, a chance. I mean, even we talk about Jelani Woods from last year. I mean, Jelani Woods only played tight end really for about a year and a half. But mm-hmm. they took him because the high the upside. Traits. The traits. Absolutely. The high upside. And you're like, if we can coach this guy, 
to who, how we want to do things, and Indy feels confident in their secondary coaches to get that done, then of course, you know, you feel you can really develop this guy into something that you want. Yes. And those kinds of things, I mean, I, I am shocked. I'm shocked. I'm in love with that pick. So glad that we actually went with that. Yes. And hopefully now, I mean, the Colts don't even really need to look at corner anymore. They've now got their depth and they got really good young guys. Now you go, you know, other different positions here to fill those needs. Right. I mean, I think you've addressed, you've double dipped at corner, which I said you might need to do. You have done that. And I think that's great. You got a guy in the, in the second round, get a guy here in the fifth, and then maybe you add in some more competition here as well when it comes to that. Uh, one thing that one of our guys is saying here on stream, Rush plates and special teams in college as well, which I think will be great because he's probably not going to start right away, but he's going to have to earn his way on special teams. So I think that that combination right there works really well uh, for what the Colts are looking to do. But guys, let us know your thoughts on the Indianapolis Colts' first fifth-round pick, pick 138, Darius Rush out of South Carolina. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks, guys.